Dramatic new video taken on a smartphone shows Cuss's F.A. 18 Hornet fall from the sky. Tonight, we've enhanced the picture to get a better idea of what happened. News 5's J.B. Buno joins us live in our web center. And, J.B., this video is showing us a completely new angle of the crash in Tennessee. Yeah, Mel, this might be our best look yet at the moments before the crash when something went wrong just after takeoff. And the shock of it all was caught on camera. There he is. Next to Smyrna Rutherford Airport on June 2nd, the Blue Angels take off for their second practice of the day. Captain Jeff Coos has just taken off from the runway. His number six jet seen here in the distance. You can see him climbing straight up, barreling in a corkscrew high in the sky. Then he inverts his aircraft, maneuvering or maybe falling downward in a nosedive. Now, if you watch closely, right here, the jet appears to be pulling up at the very last instant, but it vanishes behind the tree line. That's when we see four of the blues fly by. Witness the black plume of smoke from the crash. This is also the moment that brought us this photo from a different angle, shared thousands of times online. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Some folks in Smyrna say they saw the jet go down. Just went down, nose up. It was very sad. It was very sad. I hear this loud boom, and the house starts shaking. The video captured the shock and sadness of it all. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Plus, first responders rushing to the scene. The video will undoubtedly be analyzed by the Blue Angels and the FAA in their investigation as they try to figure out what happened right here. The nosedive and crash that tragically led to the death of fallen Blue Angel, Jeff Coos. Back here in the Web Center, based on studying this video closely today, News 5 estimates that Captain Coos was in the air for less than 90 seconds from the moment that he took off to the crash itself in Smyrna. Mel, we still don't know the cause of this crash, whether it was mechanical or otherwise, the FAA is still investigating. Well, JB, do we have any idea when that investigation will be completed? No, we don't, Mel, but the last time a Blue Angel was killed, that was Lieutenant Commander Kevin Davis in 2007. The FAA released their findings about nine months later. That was the crash in South Carolina that investigators would say, say was caused by G-lock, or loss of consciousness due to G-force. Mel, it's still too early to know if that's what happened to Captain Jeff Coos.